So Governor Scott Walker says the state should directly negotiate with providers on health insurance, direct coverage, not go through insurance companies, said it would save 10% on the cost of the premiums. Now, where's that 10% go? Obviously, it would go to the insurance companies otherwise, which they would keep in a reserve fund or a risk pool. That's what insurance companies do, because they have a good year. Uh, it's there in case of a bad year. So a year with a lot of claims, they've got the money. Governor Walker says they want to save that 10% and spend it on schools. So what does the state do if there's a bad year, a lot of claims? 60,000 employees. And the employer, the state of Wisconsin, would negotiate directly with providers. So if there's a bad year, what would they do? Would they raise taxes? Would they take money out of the budget from somewhere else, rob Peter to pay Paul? The government isn't real good about saving money for a rainy day for an at-risk pool they set aside. No, government spends every dime the government has, kind of like a five-year-old kid or me until about a month ago. I just spend money it's like it burns a hole in my pocket. So I don't know how this is going to work. That day will come. If the state does this, they won't have enough money for a year when there are a lot of claims. Now, if you're going to do this and it's really the case, then why wouldn't all employers, large employers especially, negotiate directly uh, with a provider? Well, because they don't want to have to shell out in case of a bad year when there are a lot of claims. They would rather negotiate that with a broker, let the broker take the risk. It would be even worse for that employer in terms of cost, potentially, if they did it themselves. And that means the employer is big enough to where they cover their employees. I just don't know how this is going to work. By the way, it isn't single payer because single payer would be the state or the federal government doing it for everyone. This would just be the state doing it for its own employees. 60,000 of them. It's an interesting question, but I don't know that it's going to work because there will be a year where there will be too many claims and they won't have the money because they gave it to the schools. My two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown. We'll talk about this and more tomorrow on The Mitch Hank Show on madisontalks.com.